so yeah. Savani bum, so 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 bummy, bummy Savani. I've got no idea how you say it, really. I've got no idea how you say it. We're at the airport in Bangkok, the bigger one. Savani bum, Savana boomy, something like that. Yeah, not Don, not Don Moan or Don McGann or DMK. I just stick with DMK. DMK, the old little little domestic one where Air Asia flies into. Yeah, if you're, if you're transiting through Bangkok, make sure make sure that your flights don't go in and out of different airports. It's a free shuttle bus in between the two. Um, if you can find out where to get it from, it's free. It takes about an hour and a bit. It's quite a way. Don't don't you know? Don't do that. Make sure. Make sure you're doing all right. Anyway, but um, yeah, this is all right for an airport. This is the third floor, third floor uh, foodie, foodie and shoppy kind of bit. And because we've got ages yet, I thought I'd um, sort of just show you around. They've got boots even. That's pretty cool, isn't it? Boots, sushi den. There we go. It's, it's, it's all right. You know, we haven't even gone. We haven't even gone internationally. Yet. We've not even gone through passport control or anything. Still haven't even checked in because we're here that early. It's not gates not open yet. So uh, that's good though. You know, we can chill out. We don't have to. We don't have to go too mad at it, do we? When you start rushing around, sometimes that's when things go wrong, isn't it? So, you know, there's loads of places to eat, for certain. Um, airport prices as standard. Just had, uh, just had barbecue pork and rice and some veg and a bowl of soup and a drink for 10 bucks. But it's relatively new, so it's all still quite clean. I think they've even got a Starbucks, Burger King, a few other places down there for eating. They're all about the same price. I've got to go back the other way. And um, so downstairs for arrivals. Let's go and have a look. Let me look at that. So it's quite a big airport. That's, that's arrivals, and uh, I'm going to go up to uh, departures because because we're going. Yeah, that's right. Going. Let's get a lift. There we go. We go and press the lift button. So yeah, you can have a good look around. Check out. It's all right for an airport. Yeah, I've been in a lot worse. Dakar, don't go to Dakar, that's my advice. Dakar's awful. Dakar Airport. Oh my life, honestly. Yeah, but this is quite alright. Civilised. Oh look, it's Tanya. Come on Tanya, let's get the lift. Go and press press the button again. Anyway, I'm gonna pause it for a minute and then we can go upstairs. Actually, you get in the lift side, I'm going to run up here. Can I just go up, departures, level four? Oh, go up on the escalator. Oh, fall off and falling over on the escalator. God, they don't clean those windows very often, though. You think, I don't know how you do it, really. There must be a way. But, um, yeah, it's not too good. Right, here we are. In departures. Let's have a look. Now we're flying with Malaysia Air. And it's now... It's now, I don't know, 3.30, 4 o'clock. What's the time? 4 o'clock. Our flight's at... 
8 o'clock. Oh, it's not even on there yet, look. No, so we've still got quite a long while. Okay. But yeah, you know, the standard kind of uh, airporty thing. Taxis drop you off there and you come in and surprise, surprise, you check in and then go and do your thing in uh, passport and uh, pa yeah, passport control and all that kind of thing. But it's not a bad airport, is it? Look. Okay, look at this dude here. No, not not the not the lady pulling the baskets, the actual statue of the guy there. Pretty cool. Anyway, I might um I might shoot a bit more in a little while. Yeah. When we get through into the old uh, duty free section. Cool, right, I'm going. Bye! So, uh, yeah, been through passport control, couldn't video that bit, obviously, for security, apparently. That was all good, passport and check-in, that was easy. And now we are in the other side of passport control, whatever you want to call it. It's kind of like the limbo stage where they convince you that the best thing you can do is go and buy some quite overpriced cheap perfume aftershave for men obviously or a nice leather bag <laughs> um, small expensive things isn't it but you know it's very nice I mean there's lots of it here lots of it and of course you know what do you need you need food it's Tanya hello Tanya and what else do you need you need some food don't you so um there's uh, a, an absolute plethora, or even a phalanx, sort of phalanx of foodie places to eat at. So uh, yeah, let's have a little, just a little wander around. It's quite cool. You know, it's quite, it's quite a pleasant airport as far as airports go. Um, airport prices. So it depends where you come from. Uh, just come out of Cambodia so it's all it's nice to see some things like you know you can't get you can't get this in Cambodia not not for any decent price so it's okay to see some of the more Western things if you if you like that kind of thing and um, like I say in Cambodia it's not so so ex uh, not so cheap no, it's not very cheap here either if I go into Tesco's or Asda in England and you can pick it all up a lot cheaper obviously. But we're we're in the airport so we have to accept the international prices that you're paying in somewhere like this. So there we go. Let's have another little quick pan round. And if you if you're free if you're a frequent flyer or if you've flown even just a few times before then all of this will be very familiar to you. Uh, this is quite a big airport as they go, it's one of the bigger ones, bigger ones that I've been in. Um, certainly when it comes to choices of things to spend lots of money on. Not that I'm tight or anything, I'm not, honestly. I'm not, I am, I am, I am a bit tight. But there we go. Now I've kind of lost the wife somewhere, which will be nice for her. And a headache for me trying to find her. But we know that at least she can't get too lost because she has to be on the flight in two or three hours. They got a uh, right in the distance there. Where is it? Burger King. Burger King, right in the distance. 
There we go. Right. Cool. I'm going to go and spend some money on stuff, I suppose. I don't know. Either that or look at my feet for about three hours. So, yeah, cool. I might shoot some more in a little while. Bye. Oh, the exchange rate.